Hey guys. Mike here. I'm sorry about the late post. I know some of you have been worried about me. I reached 50,000 subscribers, which I really, really appreciate you guys for. I'm not doing Hotel Linux, man. Dude, it's, 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 it's ooga booga nonsense. You know, there's no such thing as spirits and ghosts and blah, blah. From the iPad. <laughs> hey, Sam. Indeed. How's it going? Hi, how are you? You're doing all right. You look all comfy. I like the setup. Thanks. It's, it's easier than sitting like on the couch to be like on the floor. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Waiting for Matt to come in and we'll get started. Okay, great. How are, are you in LA? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, Chicago. Oh, okay. Yeah. I uh, I went to high school in Southern Illinois. Ah, okay. Yeah. Just high school and then you moved out for college? Uh, well, not far. I went to Springfield, Missouri. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not... Yeah. Right across. Not far at all. Or where are you from originally? Well, we grew up all over. I uh, I was born in Kansas, and then we moved to, I only lived there for like four or five years, and then to Missouri, and then to Oklahoma, and then to Illinois, and then back to Missouri. Wow. <laughs> so if there was a tornado there, I had <laughs> Pretty much. So like, you're like <laughs> the path of tornadoes everywhere. Me and Tyler were just talking about like one that hit near Chicago this week, but that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, really? This week? Yeah, it was a big one. There's still like power. It was, like it was near the city too. It was like 20 miles out. Was that a part of that uh, crazy storm system that was yeah. going on? Yep, it started up. That was nuts. Yeah. Oh, and, and Sam and Matt, just to FYI, I had to give you separate links for each interview coming up because uh, our master account is using it right now for RuPaul's Drag Race. So I had to, I don't have a pro account for myself. So why is the master account using it for RuPaul's Drag Race? I have to uh, know. Our PR uh, team represents RuPaul's Drag Race. They're doing like a press junket too. So they're doing all that. They, they Matt called, just died. I'm dying. That's, I did not know that. That makes me, okay. Well, you know, if RuPaul's Drag Race ever needs somebody, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's absolutely why he said that. <laughs> you guys all ready to go? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go off. Hi. How's it going? Wow. It's been, listen, I, I've been talking to Antoine for like the past two years on Facebook. Always we communicate. I was one of the original people at that premiere in Burbank, Matt. And I remember interviewing you on that red carpet. You know, I like, remember too. That was my first, that was my first ever like interview for the movie. No. I was like, yeah, you guys just walked up to me and I was like, oh yeah, yeah let's do it. Sure. <laughs> Sam, I, I think want to see it. You, you, I think you just passed when I arrived, you know, so I didn't get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we didn't get a chance to meet. There were uh, two other guys sort of handling the interview situation yep. at that moment. But yeah, it's it was so cool to see this movie come a long way. I remember at the after party, I was talking to Tantra. I'm like, man, this thing could be something. He's like, no, you really think so? I'm like, yes. I'm like, if people see it, they will like it. And he just like um, emailed me like a month or so ago. He's like, man, you were the first one to call it back in the day. I, was, I, was I love this film when I saw it. It was so cool. I'm just awesome. so happy to see you guys kind of get get your time now and, and people getting to see the movie. How cool has it been to have it in drive-ins and being number one movie, you know, in America? I mean, it's mind blowing. I mean, yeah, those are like to, like to say that the first movie I ever had come out was number one in in America, and then also to have it be my first drive-through movie theater experience <laughs> is is really cool, and that's something that I'll be able to say for the rest of my life, which is awesome um i know i think i speak for both sam and i when we really had no idea what was going to happen with it we shot this movie so long ago and and i knew that they were going to get it out into the world because antoine the director and matt brubaker they're such hard workers so i knew that they would get it out there eventually sam how, how has been your reception kind of seeing it all you know transformed this summer this movie you know uh it's really weird to have a victory in a time like this, right? When everyone's trying to get by or fighting for their rights, or it just feels like it's, it's been such a juxtaposition to the rest of the world that it's, 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 you know, really added a, like a, 
like rose colored glasses to a time in which I think a lot of people are struggling. Like we're so lucky that we have something come out of between the <laughs> months of, of April and August of 2020 to have a, to have a big win is it's so unexpected. And also it feels even more special because there's a closeness during right now. Do you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. everything feels a little more intense. And so to be able to like, like Matt and I became such good friends on set and to be able to randomly text him. And I know he has to text me back because I know he's home. (laughs) (laughs) You can't get away. I can't get away. (laughs) I'll find you. Uh, No, there's, it's just been, it's been really special to be able to share moments of happiness with people at this time. It's, uh, it's incredible. And our crew worked so hard for it. Like Antoine's been the biggest victory, like, He's he's been the biggest champion of this movie. It's I love to see people like that win. Oh yeah, he's really worked hard behind the scenes. I mean, I've been kind of throughout the journey with him, kind of running by ideas and stuff, and he's really tried it. And in you know, in, in a crazy way, luckily worked out the timing that he he held out for other distributions that could have happened earlier. But it all just worked out in a sense the best they could, you know, to the best ability. So that's kind of cool that, you know, the moment arrived for that. Did you guys, were you guys in contact through uh, the last couple of years or recently now, obviously reconnecting with the release? How, how has the relationship been, been between, um, between you guys? Um, just the, the crew and, and the actors? I mean, this is one of those projects that keeps popping up randomly every few months <laughs> where they're like, well, we need you for this. We need to do this. We want to have dinner, blah, 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 blah. So it's, it hasn't really required any effort on our part to like keep in touch with everybody, to keep in touch with Antoine and Matt and the rest of the cast. You know, we all got along super well. All of the chemistry that's reads on camera is basically from real life. Um, but I think my biggest takeaway is that like Sam and I have, Sam and I never stop texting. We're texting all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the movie, and then, you know, the movie, uh, we started getting news about it coming out. And I, I think I talked to Sam more than I talked to pretty much anybody else right now. <laughs> she's been my she's been my quarantine angel she's been saving my life a little bit she's oh, there. Babe. yeah I mean <laughs> we were I I have not been so lucky to get along with an entire not just the cast but the crew in yeah. such a way like we all got along so well and if you're gonna bust out a movie like this in two to three weeks mm-hmm. you well, really like if everyone yeah if everyone's not on board to play to really like work your butt off, but also keep a sense of humor about it. It can go south so quickly. (laughs) So to be able to have that lightheartedness and still get everything done, like I valued everyone's work ethic. I think everyone respected each other in such a way. Uh, And it's been so fun because I've run into everyone at different points in time, like our producer, uh, Matt Brubaker and um, Carrie, who was um, our AD. I've ran into them at like Comic-Con at different events we were attending and stuff like that. It's just been it's like Matt said, it was just been such a, the movie that randomly never ends. Like there's just always something happening, always someone like, even when we first started, uh, Tim Dreyer, who uh, is is basically the third in our little triple, uh, he, his younger sister and I were in a sorority together in college, totally which was in about that. Missouri State. <laughs> so even from the beginning, we had, uh, like, I lived with his sister. <laughs> And we didn't even know it. It's just, there's been so many ties to this. So it's really special that it's having just like such a moment in the sun for everyone. Unbelievable. You know, I wanted to ask you guys about, because I remember Antoine saying some weird things did happen kind of in that building and on set. What do you guys remember from filming? Were there any kind of like eerie things that you guys came across actually while filming or something you've noticed in that hotel or maybe just in general, just doing this movie? I mean, there are a couple things that made it into the movie. Like, uh, there's a prop that falls. Dur- in, it's in the film. There's a prop that falls over. And that wasn't planned or scripted. It just happened. And we ended up improvising around it. And it was, it was pretty spooky. I think uh, it was so long ago. But here's the thing about shooting a scary movie is that it's actually really funny to see all of this stuff go on behind the scenes. Because, like, it looks ridiculous. Before it's edited, before it's color corrected, it, like... I remember just seeing Sam doing a take where she's like 10 times. By the end of it, I was just laughing. But on the flip side, there are always things that happen that really do 
kind of freak you out. Like we were doing the Korean elevator game scene and the lights kept flickering and we had, there, were, there was no electrical issue. We wow. talked to the hotel where we were shooting that had not happened before. It was, it was little things like that where I was like, we're, we're, we're calling on something and I don't like it because <laughs> I'm a very superstitious person. Oh, you are. I scare very easily. Um, yeah. He does. <laughs> Stop. You can just creep around the corner and scare the cat. Not do this right now. Awesome. <laughs> you know, I think the scariest thing, which is so funny, because now we've all been in interviews now, and we've all admitted ra at random points that all of us got crystals at the beginning of this movie. <laughs> Which is like, Can I'm not like a crystal one? girl. I don't. I had I don't um, like amethyst sage. and rose quartz, and sage yeah. in my apartment. <laughs> See, I love that. It's never been my thing. I've never been like, like you know, the crystal gal. Love her, appreciate her. It's never been me. And when we started this movie for a bonding thing, uh, Antoine and Matt Brubaker got all of us together and had us go on a ghost hunt together and so we met with this guide in Pasadena which is so cool that they wanted us to be friends from the beginning and I think yeah. I mean let's just like they did such a good job uh, casting us all and it turned out that we all got along so great oh, and so fun. we started with this ghost tour and we went to this they call it like the gate of hell if you're ever in Pasadena it was it was really fun really? and uh yeah it, it was we had a guide and he had like a tracker thing and it I totally bought, we Who all just bought it and had fun. You know? Well, so Los Angeles, you know, and part of the reason that the movie was, was written in LA is that Los Angeles actually has, <laughs> well, because it has such an expansive history with serial killers, there's yeah. a lot of haunting um, rumors about Los Angeles. So there are actually, and you know, my character Mike in the movie, he is a vlogger who visits haunting locations throughout LA. And there's mm -hmm. actually so many of them. And it's, it's primarily because Los Angeles serial killers really love Los Angeles. They just wanted to hang out there. I don't know why. Well, they 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 turn crazy. <laughs> That's what they they might be normal. They arrive in LA and that, that <laughs> <They> go crazy. <laughs> it's it feels yeah. Seriously though. <laughs> <laughs> what have you guys been doing during quarantine? I mean, it's been it's been a crazy few months. I mean, a lot's been going on. Um, I mean, just how in general is the industry? It seemed kind of quiet. I know I'm doing a frequent amount of, um, you know, Zoom interviews and stuff, but how has it been with like auditions and, and things like that? Where you guys kind of, what position have you been uh, when, when it comes to like acting work and all that? Um, it's really interesting. It feels like the industry is kind of operating at 10% right now. Mm. There is some stuff shooting. There's plenty of commercials that are shooting from home. And by plenty, I mean some. <laughs> um, and so yeah there's not a lot of projects to be like looking forward to necessarily um it hasn't come to a complete screeching halt but it certainly is not uh, as productive or busy as it normally is um so yeah i which is why i'm so grateful that this movie's coming out now because truly i wouldn't have anything to do i've had like a smattering of work here and there but it's really been very slow so i've been taking a lot of time to you know Really get acquainted with myself. Uh, think about Matthew and my relationship with him. <laughs> no, but I I started off quarantine being that guy that was like, I'm practicing piano. I like painted my own furniture. I like sanded it down and refurbished it. I uh, was cooking all of this stuff, and then probably after two months, I just kind of hit a wall and I went, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I um just can't keep self motivating. <laughs> So then I turned into a couch potato. There and you now go. I'm actually, my family lives in the Bay Area, which is where I am right now. Okay. So I'm staying at my mom's. I drove up about a month ago. Um, and it's nice because A, it's about 15 degrees cooler up here than it is in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, and Rub it in, rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm buying a bike and I'm going to start. I'm going to become like that guy who bikes. It probably won't happen, but uh, it, it's nice and <laughs> at least At least make yourself believe you will, you know? That's, that is exactly it. Yep. <laughs> as long as you think oh it's happening. Oh my God. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, what have I, what have I been doing? That is a good question. Uh, I have a, I'm very lucky. I have a, a side project called One Broke Actress and it is made up of uh, interviews and articles and all things uh, built for actors to have resources in and around the business, <clears throat> whether it's lessons from me, things I've learned, or uh, lessons I can learn in, uh, from other people. It's a podcast and a website, 
And that's really taken up a lot of my time. I've been able to kind of kick it into high gear actually during this time because I've had access to people I wouldn't normally have access to Mm. uh, because everyone's home. And I've been able to get some awesome Zoom interviews, which I was a little hesitant to do at first because it feels just a little colder and I love I've always done in person that in person connection it's always different totally but I think that we're all we've all bought into this at home thing at this point to where it just feels more natural than it did you know in February than it might have in February right like I think seeing especially like all these big stars doing these sag talkbacks and all these things like that and they're also in their living rooms that are always just like a little dirty to where you're like oh yeah you're a person too of course of course that's what <laughs> you're on <talking about>, <laughs> <laughs> I tend to go on the perfectionist side yeah yeah so, your, your room and your background looks pretty flawless there yeah, so oh, I'm house setting right now <laughs> this, ah. is not, this is not mine I'm also very big on honesty. So here you go. Um, Yeah. So One Broke Actress has been a lot of my attention, uh, which has been great. And I just, I mean, we got a third dog. We got a foster. She turned into a forever dog. I just want to, I just want to quickly say, Sam was like, oh, I think I'm going to foster a dog. And I was like, oh, so you're adopting a dog. (laughs) Right. (laughs) There was no chance he was going to give that dog back or give it to a new family. I just knew, I knew I called it. You, I mean, okay, so you and everyone else, apparently. <laughs> where we have a land of misfit toys. We now have three rescue dogs. They're all a little messed up. It's awesome. Oh, I also <laughs> want to just say, Sam's podcast is awesome. She's been such, she, really, she's been an amazing resource for me, too. Wow. It's not really just for beginning actors, even. It's like, there's so many things about being a member of SAG that I did not know that mm-hmm. I learned from listening to Sam's podcast. And she's a very good interviewer. Um, I've been lucky enough to be on the podcast. So wow, we like, did a great episode together. We did a great episode right before the pandemic started. So <laughs> Season kind five, of all the information 11. we talked about <laughs> ended up being moot. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> that's so funny. I'm going yeah. to say so it's on iTunes. Where where can you find it? Like uh, everywhere. Spotify, mm-hmm. Apple Podcasts, all the all the places. Wow. Awesome. So there we yeah. go. And so you're continuing it regularly, right? Putting out regular content. Yeah, I do seasons at a time because at least up until now, actors are very flaky. <laughs> it's hard to get them to. Yeah, you might know this. Uh, to nail down a time. So uh, I've just finished season 12. So we have a little, or season 12, oh my God. Season six, all 12 episodes plus some bonus. So there's a little over 78 episodes, I think. Uh, and so I'm working on the next set, which is going to be mini episodes. Uh, so those should be more frequent starting in September. Oh, that's so cool. And what kind of dog did you end up adopting? Oh, well, okay, fine. I'll show you a picture. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she's had it ready on her phone this entire time. She's truly so just been waiting. Did you ask. Um, yes. Okay, let's see. Is it going to turn? So we have three now. Oh, there Can it. you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at so that. The, it's so right? cute. The one in the middle is our new one. Her name is Trudy. She uh-huh. is named after Allison Bree's character from Mad Men because we were <laughs> binging that in quarantine. And Allison Bree's character is just kind of a doormat and just like wants to make people happy and like that's this dog. So yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. And they're all getting along, right? Everyone's friendly and or maybe not. No, no. <laughs> okay. They're all rescues. They all have their own baggage. But we're all we're home. Like I'm home all the time. So mm-hmm. it's a perfect time to integrate a new family member. I know a lot of people who are getting pregnant right now. So this is my version of that. (laughs) Well, maybe maybe just keep it with the dogs then at that point. Yeah, that's where I'm at. (laughs) Quarantine babies. We're going to see a lot of quarantine babies. (laughs) Yeah, I think that's something. Well, listen, it was so cool to catch up with you guys and get to talk. I mean, this film has been, like, I bring in personal, like, enjoyment from it. I'm like, my quotes are on the poster. I'm in the trailer quotes. I'm like, this movie has. And it's it's meant a lot to me too. And seeing Antoine's success and you guys coming through it, it, it's so cool, you know, because it's an awesome movie. As soon as I saw it and people finally getting to expose to it. So I just feel like I'm a little tiny part of this journey from the beginning, which has been a personal, really satisfactory thing for me. That's yeah awesome, thank you for man. for sticking thank with it you. since the beginning it's because of people like that that it's actually doing well so we appreciate it you know, then, yeah, yeah thanks man cool. man i was gonna ask you how's the colitis going i keep on seeing oh it, my I, god <laughs> <laughs> I keep on all right it. let's clarify one thing if you yeah. are in a medical commercial you do not act so uh I have a very happy gut. Thank you very much. <laughs>
<laughs> I keep on seeing it. Is, all the it time. is funny, you know, now, yeah, they, they've started playing it again just yes. now. So now I'm that guy from that horror movie and that guy from that medical commercial. Um, Wait, that's awesome. Yeah, Listen, it's cool. What a great I time get to commercial replay. <laughs> I will say it's weird. I get more attention and I get more fan mail because of the commercial that I do from the okay. horror movie, which is very, I think just because it's playing constantly in people's homes. But yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a thing. Only the residual the call. I, I wanted to know, is that your sister or girlfriend in that movie? I'm always trying oh, to figure this out. Oh my God. It's the, it's, she's supposed to be my girlfriend in it. I, oh my <laughs> God. I sister vibe too. <laughs> if you hear the audio, it's a little bit more clear. That's so funny. They did cast somebody who looks... Just, who looks like my sister. She could have been your sister when you got yeah. like looking at family pictures. I'm like, oh, they're reconnecting, yeah. but maybe yeah. they're dating. Speaking of quarantine babies, she just uh, had a child. So congratulations, Stevie. Oh, yay. Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Hope to connect with you guys again. This was so much fun. Yeah, uh, thanks for having us. Oh, yes. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I'll be tuning into that podcast, Sam. I'll be checking it out. Thank One you. Yeah, actress. please do. Everybody listen to it. Yeah, for Thanks, sure. Guys. I'll let you know what I thought. So there you go. Please awesome. do. I'll put them on a poster. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> See Thanks, you guys. Man. Talk soon. Hopefully to connect. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Looks like the Korean elevator game is indeed a big hoax.